Hey there, YouTube. I'm John Maida, and I realized I found this piece of paper in my pile of papers, and it is the overview of how to speak machine. It's uh, in six parts. You can see my scribbles there. And I thought, why not go over what's in the book? The book's been out for a couple of years. I never had a chance to travel around and promote it the way that books pre-COVID existed. So I thought, why not digital, right? Okay. So it's the book comes in six sections, six sections here. The first section is about how the machine can sit in the loop forever. Like in a loop, like like in a loop, like in a loop, like in a loop, like in a loop, like in a loop. It it never gets tired. And I think we often take it for granted that the computer does stuff. Yeah, it crashes sometimes, but it generally does it until it's finished. And it'll do it over and over. It's the basis of automation, right? You tell it to go do something and it does it. When humans are hired to do stuff, we get tired after maybe eight hours, <laughs> maybe 16 hours. It's like tiring. Machines don't get tired. They'll sit there and loop, 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 loop forever. And it's this odd behavior of machines that I think everyone who works in tech understands. And it's kind of like in Iron Man, they had that like arc reactor thing Tony Stark, it's like this magical power source. It can power the entire world or whatever. The computer, how it exists, it is that arc reactor sort of in your pocket or purse. It's processing at an incredible level. It may not have the power to power a entire city, but it has the power to power uh, a, a bunch of brains inside itself. So it has this kind of cognitive power that doesn't get tired. Like if you think about when you're in a meeting or at work or play, whatever, you're carrying this smartphone around, it's this arc reactor of thinking. And it's just sitting there doing stuff. It's monitoring you. A little creepy, I know. But it's checking mail. It's checking messages. It's sitting there in a loop, in a loop. Never gets tired. Well, the battery runs out, but you know what I mean. So, how to speak machine. Chapter one, it's all about machines running in loops. And these machines are invisible. They're not physical machines like the steering wheel or whatever. They're living in the virtual world. I'm not talking virtual reality, but they're living in the pure digital world, a world that we can't see with our eyes, but everyone who works in tech can see with their mind. And also in the book, I have to remember, I, I, you know, when you write a book, you're like, it's kind of a way to kind of forget what you thought before. Uh, a key topic I bring up is recursion. Uh, if you're a, a supreme nerd of some form, you, you love recursion. Recursion is something when you discover it, you're like, what is that? Simply said, recursion is a way of describing something with itself. Like there is this project called GNU, GNU. And when you people get asked who work on GNU, what it stands for, they get all kind of giddy and say, well, GNU stands for GNU's not Unix. Pause for a second. GNU's not Unix. So what does GNU stand for? Well, it stands for GNU's not Unix. So it's a sort of... um way of saying that I'm describing something with itself and you're going to sit there and like it's kind of like when feedback happens with a camera and you can just see like an infinite images of something or someone it, or it's like that famous uh, Drost effect the famous um, coffee packaging I'll probably put it up here so it's like self-referential it's a loop it's infinite loop so in short, machines run loops. They can run infinitely. Computers don't get tired. We get tired. That's chapter one of How to Speak Machine.